Hey guys, so welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you what's in my pencil case. So let's start with the actual pencil case. It's a <laughs> fairly large pencil case. I got it on Amazon. I had never heard of this brand before this, but a lot of my friends got this pencil case and I started seeing it in a lot of places and I thought it was just amazing since it's so organized and I'm kind of a perfectionist, so organization like that is important. It has three pockets and more pockets than that, and then there's these two little po po pockets on the front, and you know, you could put note cards or lead or erasers. I, have, I don't have anything in there at the moment, but it's probably what I would use it for. Now going into the first pocket, let's start on the left side. So these are some of my mild liners from the pastel pack. Uh, I love these mild liners. This is the only pack I have at the moment though. I am getting the cool pack in a couple of days and I have yet to order the warm pack. Uh, there's also yellow in the pack but it's in my skull binder so I don't have it in this pencil case. Then I have two Pentel Energels, and I talk about these all the time, so if you've seen any of my other videos, you've probably seen these before. So I just keep two 0 0.5 Pentel Energel gel pens right there, and yeah, so if we move to the next pocket, first thing you see are these Pigma Microns. These are three of the sizes I got. Um, I want to say an 8-pack off of Amazon that has assorted sizes, but these are only three of them. I also have some more later in the pencil case. You'll see that later. And then I have a regular black <laughs> ballpoint pen. I have no idea where it's from. Probably like a hotel or something. But, yeah. So that's the blue pen right there. It's a pretty nice pen. It um it does skip ink sometimes, so it's not the best, but it's pretty durable and it has the tip that you can use on like electronics and things. So it's helpful. And then I just have a white white gel pen. Um, Uniball Signal, Broad White Gel Pen, and I got like a three pack off of Amazon. They're pretty nice. They they work really well on some and not amazing on others, but they still work. And those are nice. I use them a lot, especially in bullet journaling and small mistakes. You, it's kind of like white out. <laughs> so now moving on to the second pocket. On the left side you will see a bunch of Pilot G2 pens. I got a huge pack, I think like at Costco or something, <laughs> and these are just some of the colors. They came out with some pastels and metallics. Um, you'll see that some of the colors, like the pink and the two blues and the orange, match the color highlighters I have. So yeah, that's helpful when writing notes. And then. I have the gold and the silver, and of course just a black that I use a lot in my planner, or if I'm like writing something really quickly and don't want to use the Pentel Energel ink because it's a bit more expensive, things like that. Now if we move on to the next pocket, you will see two more Pentel Energels, you can already see it in the clip right now. I'll move it in a second. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I got this weird felt tip pen at a dollar store, I believe. And it came in like a two pack for a dollar, which means they're like 50 cents, which is like kind of cheap. But yeah, it's made out of like a cheap plastic and the felt tip, it's not that bad. Like, it writes very smoothly, but the ink isn't as dark as, per se, the Pigma Microns. 
it's still useful though. I use it a lot in bullet journaling to do all of my writing instead of using a more expensive pen. And there are the two <laughs> adult undergels. And these are Tombow Fudanesque. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. And there's the soft tip and the hard tip. And I use them all the time. I've used them so much they're probably running out of ink now. So I need to order some new ones. And then some more pigment microns. So you'll also see that there's more spaces available. Here I, I don't really use these pockets. I don't need it to be any larger than it is because it's already a very tall, per se, pencil case. So yeah. And the last pocket is pretty simple. It has some pockets on the left side and a large pocket on the right side. I haven't put anything in these small pockets yet, but it'd be good for paper clips or binder clips or staples, <laughs> things like that. And on the other side, I just keep a pair of scissors and my correction tape because I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, that's what's in my pencil case. Before I go, I just want to make a really quick announcement. I've decided kind of a posting schedule and I'll be posting every Wednesday. Um, since it's summer, you'll probably see me posting like twice a week, so there might be random days like today <laughs> where I post a video, but I will do my best to get out a video every Wednesday. I don't want to make the promise though because if something comes up and I'm super busy or something's wrong with my computer, like some weird emergency and I don't get a video out on Wednesday, I <laughs> don't want anyone <laughs> to kill me, so that's that. I will do my best though. I promise that I will do my best and get out a video every Wednesday, which means I will see you guys in a few days. So yeah, I do really hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you choose to. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!